The Secret Space Project is a, a project which I've had in mind for a very, very, very long time. What we're going to do um, is that basically there's five major continents on planet Earth and the Secret Space Project will equip 100 people on each of those continents so we'll end up with a network of 500 people um, and they'll all be equipped and trained uh, to use pretty large telescopes uh, telescopes using third of a meter uh, refractive mirrors um, and Dobsonian telescopes and these telescopes will be linked to super definition uh, DSLR cameras to film in better than HD quality um, video footage and to have this video footage filmed directly by these cameras which are looking directly at the optical mirrors inside these telescopes and the 500 people will be chosen and trained and they'll be chosen based on their location We'll be choosing locations uh, and people who live at high altitude in mountainous regions, uh, mainly because the air uh, is thinner at high altitude, so they get a, a very, very crisp, very fantastically clear image coming through these cameras that are connected to these telescopes. And there'll also be some high magnification telescopes uh, as well. Now, the idea is that uh, all of the photos and all of the video footage uh, will be shot at a 5,384 pixel wide super definition quality. Now, let's put that into perspective. That's three times, almost three times, uh, better quality than you get on high definition Blu-ray. So we're dealing with a network of 500 people on five continents uh, in you know, high altitude areas uh, using telescopes and cameras that are going to give us really great quality imagery of the stars, the planets, the moon. And we're also going to use light intensifying technology as well. So not only are we going to have high definition, uh, but we're going to have uh, intensified uh, footage as well that can really look into deep space. And these 500 people are going to be specially trained. Um, they're not going to be just trained in standard astronomy. I mean, that's going to happen. That goes without saying. These people are going to be trained especially to use these uh, third of a meter uh, telescopes and to manipulate these telescopes manually. And this is something that doesn't go on uh, at the professional level of astronomy because uh, when you have these huge uh, installations um, of these giant telescopes which uh, we have around the world, um, those very large telescopes are uh, very slow to actually reorientate and repoint towards certain objects and it's the same for space telescopes as well. 
um, the Hubble and other space-based space uh, telescopes take uh, quite a long time to reposition them. The Secret Space Project is aiming to really unfold many of these anomalies and many of these mysterious objects in the night sky. Uh, simply by specially training this network of 500 people who are trained to quickly uh, manipulate their telescopes and to track and follow objects and to capture them in super definition video quality. And there's an art to it, you know, I mean, it's, it's rather like, uh, you know, teaching somebody to play the guitar or some kind of skill like carpentry. There is a knack to being able to naturally follow an object because when you look through a telescope, up is down and left is right. And there is a, a technique which has to be taught to people so that when you get one of these anomalous objects shooting across the sky, um, I should say that many of these objects are actually in deep space. Um, to be able to follow that object spontaneously and to react, at, you know, literally a second's notice, takes skill and it takes a, a certain uh, type of uh, rig, telescope rig, to be able to actually manipulate it and to follow these rather curious and strange trajectories that these odd objects take. And it's, these, these objects have been filmed by um, astronauts aboard uh, Russian spacecraft and also by NASA. And we know that these objects are there. We know that uh, uh, you know, various uh, NASA astronauts have actually reported uh, these objects which they call fireflies. Scott Carpenter, Story Musgrave, James Blaha, many of these uh, NASA astronauts have actually uh, radioed mission control reporting UFOs, unidentified flying objects in space. And the same has happened with the Russian space program as well. The Secret Space Project uh, will, for the very first time, have a network of 500 people, specially trained, uh, with telescopes which are large enough to give us the magnification that we, that which we really do need to capture these objects, but the telescope rigs are small and can easily be moved. This is the very first time in mankind's history that uh, this is going to be done. Really, what's going to happen is that this is going to benefit not only mainstream science, not only uh, astronomy, but it's going to benefit the public and it's going to be of great interest to children as well. We're going to have 500 people connected to the internet and uh, via their internet connections, um, any curious phenomena, anything uh, strange, will be viewable by the general public the day that it happens, hopefully um, you know, if we get the internet speeds uh, and we get fast enough connections, you know, it's going to be viewable the minute that it happens. And we're going to be filming using DSLR cameras linked to telescopes, which again is pretty new technology. And it's a, a technology which up until now has been way too expensive, but the price of these uh, pieces of equipment have come right down. And we're calling it the Secret Space Project because we are sure from the tests which we've done so far since 2006 that there are anomalous objects up there uh, that you can easily uh, identify and categorize. They are not satellites, they are not uh, moonlets, they are not uh, asteroids, they are 
uh, classic unidentified flying objects. And um, this project not only puts the equipment into the hands of a new generation of astronomers, but it also allows millions of people to simultaneously uh, and spontaneously enjoy this incredible voyage of discovery where they can hop from the uh, visual video output from one telescope, say for example in Germany, and then switch and look at uh, what, say, one of our team has uh, picked up in Peru, uh, or uh, look at you know what one of the team have uh, picked up in New Zealand, and we're going to uh, deliberately have our network spread across the world. There's going to be uh, secret space astronomers trained up and equipped in Africa, um, everywhere. There's not going to be a single continent that this. Uh, secret space project does not benefit and that's it that's what we're gonna do and it's a big project and we need your help because <laughs> it's uh, way beyond the financial scope of uh, myself and one person to actually fund this and it's going to I'm sure uh, be a new era in mankind's understanding of space and the cosmos and our beautiful blue planet here and how we fit in to this uh, amazing cosmic creation which we see before us.